this is what I've, I've been looking for my whole life. <laughs> okay, I heard your cries. I heard your cries. You want a makeup tutorial, period. But then also you want a full makeup tutorial for the look I did for my birthday. So I thought I would jump on here and show you the makeup I did. However, to keep it interesting, I thought I would do a full face of one brand. So I'm doing a full face of Urban Decay. Thank you so much Urban Decay for partnering with me on this video. And yeah, I really hope you love it. There are some absolute bangers, one brand, because it's not typically something I would do. It's a really good way to discover products from the brand that you might not be familiar with and also some new favorites that you might just slip into your arsenal, which maybe I've got some new favorites. You have to watch to see. Okay, so let's just, you guys don't want to listen to me waffle, so let's just go straight into today's video. I don't want to zoom you guys in, I'm scared. Okay, we're gonna, we're in now, so here we go. Right, let's start this full face with primer. When you guys are this far in, it's scary, so I'm not gonna bring you this far in. Maybe here, this is a more comfortable closeness because, too scary. This is so exciting because a lot of these products I haven't actually used before. Very few of these I've used before, which is, really surprising so i'm going to start with this this is the coconut water plump and shine balm this consists yeah i've actually used this already i used it yesterday and today because i couldn't wait and it's such a lovely consistency like look at that i'm not really um i don't really need the plump <laughs> i feel like my lips are definitely big enough what i love is just it's a nice consistency consistent consist why can't I speak? It's a nice consistency. My lips don't feel like they're about to fall off. You know when they're so tingly, they feel like they're gonna fall off. Mm, no, my looks feel good. And it actually feels hydrated. Sometimes these balms, they just sit on your lip and they don't really do anything. They just sit and vibe. My top lip is a little bit dry. <laughs> the weather change oh, it always hits my lips first. The weather change is going to hit my top lip first. So, that's feeling good. Now we're gonna pop into the All Nights of Face Primer. I remember when this first came out and I really wanted to try it. I don't know why I never tried it, um, but I'm excited to try this. This is basically All Nighter in a primer. It's meant to give you the longevity. Let's have a look. Oh, let's have a look. Oh, that's nice. It's like a cream. It's a cream. I like that texture. I'm here for that texture. It's lightweight. Good if you've got oily skin like me, oily combination skin. I like to go heavy with skin prep. So I do like a lighter consistency primer just because I don't like to build too much on top of, or beneath, shall I say, I don't like to build too much beneath the foundation. Um, I still like it to be quite thin underneath there. So I'm just pumping it onto the back of my hand and then work it in. Usually I would put it on and then work it in, but I've got like leftover glue, TMI, leftover glue on this finger, this little finger here from sticking on my wig. So let me just use the clean hand. And then I just put tiny remnant on my forehead. This would be excellent for travel. It's a really, it's like a, what's this? Just one of these ones that it comes with a, it's quite slim as well. I do find a lot of um, primers are quite chunky. They're quite chunky. When I think about the space that gets taken up, I have to fact I have to get travel size primers because the full size are usually just too large. But that's nice. I like the consistency of that. It's sunk into my skin really beautifully. I like this. I'm gonna go into my makeup bag and add it to the regular, the regulars. Medium coverage, up to 24 hour. This is the Tinted Glow Hydrator. This I have never tried before, okay? So we've got three shades here. We've got 70, 80, and 81. So this is 70 in the dark category. Let's go ahead and swatch these, you know? As soon as we're doing a whole vibe, let's go ahead and swatch these. As my skin has gotten better, I've felt less of a need for like heavy, heavy. But I like this because it's light, but it still says it's medium to buildable. Is it medium to buildable? What did it say? Medium coverage, yes. Because why does a tinted moisturizer have to be light coverage? Why can't a tinted moisturizer be medium coverage? Why do I have to sacrifice coverage for consistency? So this is 70. Okay, I think that's probably gonna be mine. Another thing that we're on the lookout for with these is undertone. Because, and that, I feel like you also have to sacrifice undertone in these. Ooh, this looks like mine. Yep, this one is mine. 80 deep, 
80 deep is my girl let's just try 81 now i'll be honest i don't know how extensive this range is so we've got 70 70 dark 80 deep 81 deep i think 80 deep is definitely she seems like the right one for me let's put her on my face I feel like that's pretty good. Do I wanna, am I gonna be a finger girl? I guess because it is a tinted moisturizer, I could be a finger girl. <laughs> that sounds so weird saying that finger girl, but you guys know what I mean, like applying it with my finger. I'm not usually an apply it with my finger kind of person, but you know, seeing as we're trying new products, let's also try new techniques. Do you know what, whenever I apply products with my finger, it always reminds me of Sandra Deluxe. I remember watching her and being so blown away that someone was doing their whole face with their fingers. I was like, whoa there, girl. And then I remember trying and thinking, yeah, I'm not Sandra Deluxe. <laughs> I have no business putting this on my face with my fingers. But in hindsight, maybe a little too dark for me. Perhaps a little too dark for me. Let's mix in 70. I'm definitely gonna have to wash my hands after this. I wonder how you're actually supposed to apply this. Cause you know, a lot of times brands will be like, hey, this is how we feel like you'll get the best use out of this. Also guys, I did actually wash this finger, um, but you know, sometimes the glue just really doesn't wanna leave. Right. I've made a mess, let me go wash my hands and then we'll be back. But in terms of coverage, oh, that's beautiful. Use a brush to just make this make sense. That's beautiful, sorry. That's giving me like a filtered effect. Is it just my eyes? Do my eyes deceive me? I really like that. Okay, we're back guys. Yeah, let me keep it for real. Yeah, I had absolutely no business applying that with my fingers. I don't know why I was doing all that. I will never do that again. I, of course, just like went over top of the brush and it's making a lot more sense. It's making way more sense. And I like it, guys. It looks really, really pretty on my skin. It's kind of giving a holiday-esque. There's like a glow within. You know when you've been sitting in the sun for like a few hours and your skin is giving, doesn't need any drop of foundation, doesn't need anything? That's really where my face is at right now. That's really where I'm getting with this. I need to cream my hands after that. Right, so I do have a concealer to try, but I'm wondering if this, this should be my shade. It's six warm, okay? This should be my shade. I remember one time I went to go look for concealers, and of course I went by the Urban Decay stand, and this girl had the most outrageous, as in, in a good way, like stunning under eye. And I was like, what have you got on your under eye? And she basically said she had the, so she worked at Urban Decay, of course. This is not like relevant to this partnership, by the way. It's just an interesting story I have. And she was like, yeah, this is the concealer I'm using. And then she said, I use, if you see the shade that she used, guys, this is actually perfect, sorry. This is 60WR, this is perfect. What is this? The Stay Naked Correcting Concealer. Wow, this is gorgeous. Anyway, guys, she basically had, um, I think it was like the wait list. I believe they used to have a weightless concealer, that's what she had on. But she had like the white, like beige. This girl was like um, South Asian. She had like the beige, super, super beige. And she said, look, don't look at me crazy. I know it seems crazy, but I use a super light shade and then I blend it out and my under eye looks insane. And I just thought I would love a masterclass from you because her under eye looked absolutely beautiful, like butter, it looked so good. Sorry, this color is really ro rocking my world. This shade and consistency <laughs> urban decay don't play games with me this is how oh, i never tried this before that's first of all this is looking so me so me right while i'm letting this dry down i don't know how much i want to let this dry down actually this is an unfamiliar consistency so i don't know how much i need to let it dry down I'm feeling that this is going to be quite mattifying. That's the vibe I'm getting. I don't want it to dry too much. Let me trust the process, right? While I'm letting that dry down, I'm just gonna do my uh, contour real quick, real, real quick, and then we'll come back and blend this under eye because I feel like this might be a new favorite. Let's get to blending out this under eye. Oh! <laughs> Sorry. Why do I always squill? Like, it's just so unnecessary. Anyway, child, let's do it, okay. Right. 
I love, do you know what? I love, love finding a new conceit. Guys. Now I'm looking at this viewfinder and it's looking scary, but in person, oh, it's looking so good. Guys, yeah, definitely letting it dry down was a good shout. Just because it just gives you a little bit more control. Oh my God. Okay. 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 Let me just say something. If you know about this concealer and you've been gatekeeping it, I'm beefing you. Me and you, yeah, when I catch you, it's long. Because how, whoa, whoa, whoa. Usually I would have to mix like two different concealers, sometimes two formulas, sometimes two shades to get this. And I'm just getting it, what, right off the bat? I'm just getting it, just in this little tube. This is what I've, I've been looking for my whole life. <laughs> this concealer is so nice, what the hell? Yo, excuse me. Excuse me. Urban Decay, don't you dare, do, don't you dare change this formula. Don't you dare um, get rid of this shade, because I know how brands like to discontinue things that we love. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is so pretty. I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to use my, just blend my contour upwards, obviously, to just, marry it together and then use the base of my sponge oh that is a beauty yeah she's obsessed yeah 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 it's making a lot of sense it's making a lot of sense so there's something on my face you know when you can feel the hair on your face yeah 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 guys this is just Sorry, what is on my face? This has just lifted my whole mood. Not that I was even in a low mood, but I love finding a new staple. <laughs> do you know what? This is why people do these um, full faces, full face of brands, because you don't know when you're going to find your next favorite product unless you try. Look at the material. If you are my shade and things, you're going to love this concealer is giving me, you can use it on a light, light coverage. You don't have to do a crazy, you know one thing about me, I'm overdo it. But it's really giving, you don't have to overdo it. And then I just take whatever's left over and put it on my chin. Blend between, sorry if I'm not looking at you, it's because I'm looking at my mirror grab our foundation brush just to blend the contour and the highlight so I don't look crazy and then chin and then we're just going to put a little landing strip right here stunning 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 wow <laughs> guys sorry my face so far it's just making too much sense. I'm really, really happy as you can see. You guys can tell when I'm happy because I just start, I just start waffling for absolutely no reason. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna hit you guys with this. I have, wow. Look at this concealer. Holy hell. Okay, so this is the Stay Naked. I know I've said it before, but I have to say it again, mainly for my own memory. So if I ever, you know, forget or misplace it, I can look back on this. This is the Stay Naked Correcting Concealer in 60WR. Yeah, she's making a lot of sense. So far, if there's anything, You know, I, you know I love a good concealer. And the fact that I, I don't have to use any, she doesn't need any features. She doesn't need a, like she is just her. Like she's just, guys. I just can't believe I've never, you know, never tried this concealer a day in my life. I'm shocked. Let me go ahead and set my under eyes. And then we're gonna come back and do eyes. I'm gonna use probably this one. I've got three naked. So they're essentially these little mini palettes. They're basically like mini naked palettes. This one is mini half baked. I'm trying to move far back so you can get as good like 
you can see the color for what it truly is. And then this is Naked Sin. And then this one right here is Naked Foxy. Ooh wee. Ooh wee, I like this. Cool tone, I don't usually opt for cool tone, but this is pretty. I'm gonna use this one. This shade right here, Edible, looks like my kind of vibe. So this is the Naked Half Baked. We're gonna use this. But before we do, I'm thinking, do I finish my face? We're also gonna use this. This is the Naked, Stay Naked Threesome, which is essentially like bronzer, highlight, blush. Cause you know, you guys know I don't really highlight those. So we're gonna do bronzer, blush, bronzer, blush. Okay, Stay Naked Threesome. This is in the shade Fly, because I am Fly. Anyway, sorry, I'm sorry. I will not, I'm, no more jokes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let's get to trying this. I'm excited. <laughs> now I've tried this concealer and it's like light, lighting up my world. I'm excited to try something new. I'm a bit nervous though. Oh, I don't know if this is gonna be dark enough. That's the only thing. Do you know what I might not need to do? Mm, I don't think this is dark enough for me. Maybe the blush. Okay, the blush can work, but I'm gonna use a different bronzer because I don't, that's not dark enough. So if you're my shade, the bronzer in there won't work for you. you guys know I love a strong contour. If you don't, <laughs> you already know the vibe. Just skip on over or just like do your own thing, basically. Just do what works for your face. A strong bronzer literally like lights my life up. It makes me very, very happy. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and grab the blush. The blush shade from the Naked 3. Right, let's see. This, in theory, should be nice. I love a good pale pink blush. I think as an individual, it'd be so pretty, so you can just buy it on its own. But I don't know if I would buy the whole palette for this blush if I'm being completely honest. But it is a stunning, stunning color. I actually think it really complements my skin tone, which is hard to get right for this pale. This like rosy pink is hard for a lot of brands to get right on black skin, but this is actually very, very pretty. And I like that. I just don't know if I would buy a whole palette just for the blush. One, ugh, not lighting my world up as much, but it's so, so nice on my skin, which is such a shame because it actually looks really pretty on the skin. Set the face real quick before we do eyeshadow. So I'm gonna obviously use my long lasting Urban Decay All Nighter Set and Spray. I actually have one already. Mine's already pretty busted, so I'm gonna use mine that's already pretty busted. I'm gonna save this new spanking one. Look at the difference, that's crazy. Then I'm gonna have to go for the, of like, love this. Already a staple, use it all the time. What I've actually also been loving lately is just using the fan. I feel like this has made all of the difference in how my face sets down after using setting sprays. A lot of the time when I use setting sprays, I do find that my makeup just looks a little dewier than I would like it to. But when I use the fan, it's almost like it dries exactly how I want it to dry. Which makes me very happy. See, it's dried like it looked before. I know that sounds so stupid, you guys are probably thinking, well, duh. But seriously, like sometimes when I, no guys, I cannot, you can't beat this under eye. You cannot beat this under eye. Sorry, when I set my makeup sometimes, it just, it doesn't look how it looked when I set it. Oh, I don't like this. Naked half baked. We're gonna do just a classic. I'm just gonna go in first with buck, buck. <laughs> Back off, which is this one. And just sweep that on through the eye. This is such a classic. And I feel like no one does classic looks anymore. I don't know, I know we live in a trend era and everyone just does like trendy, whatever's trendy, but God, I do miss the classics, you know? Maybe because I take comfort in knowing what's coming. And I think back in the day, you always knew when it got to autumn, let me zoom you guys in. When it got to autumn, you just knew it was going to be smoky eye season. And I still do smoky eyes. I just don't think people do them online anymore. That's the only difference. 
But one thing about me, oh, I'm gonna do a smoky eye. I do love me a smoky eye. So right now I'm just looking for a brush to help me do the net eye, there we go. To help me do what I need to do next. It's just gonna map out like this wing. And then just smoke. So this is edible, which is the darkest in there. And then just smoke it out using buck off. And bring that in. Using the side of my brush just to really make that into a good old wing. Let's bring that onto the lid. Tap, tap, tap. See these smoky looks? As long as you have one in your arsenal, you can never go wrong. You can never go wrong. And you know what? I want to use my black liner, black pencil, sorry. How tragic that it broke. Uh, so this is the um, Urban Decay Glide On Pencil. One thing about Urban Decay, oh, when it comes to eye products, they eat every time. There's now, why would that break? Also, furthermore, why would I have it out so... Ugh, that was actually completely self-inflicted, which is annoying because... Oh, God. Why am I making life so hard for myself? Unnecessarily. My little... Um, shade of brush and just... Yeah, because you're doing too much. Just to clean that up. I did not need to get that crazy. There we go. I'm just gonna repeat that on the other eye. Oh, I think I kind of already did. Take my... This is just proof that everything doesn't have to be super, super like neat and precise. And sometimes you just have fun. But I think you can only really have fun and be a bit more playful with looks that are a bit edgier and a bit more like, it kind of works the messier it is. Messy. The messier it is, if that makes sense. I don't know, maybe I'm just waffling. Anyways, let me just put my black liner once again. Got a bit carried away with this side. This side is way nicer. When you put that concealer down, it kind of gives you a guide of where to go around. No, I've got, that's my oh God, residue. Very messy. Then you can always go back over with the pencil, the liner pencil. That's just falling out. Perfect. Darken the outside if you want to. And obviously, I have my little. That's why I love Urban Decay eye makeup. Their pencils, their gun metals, so versatile. You can smoke that out and it essentially becomes like a black eyeshadow. This just got real messy unnecessarily. But that's why I love makeup, because it's fun and you can get messy and no one's gonna beat you for it, do you know what I mean? It's just makeup. And then we've got this shade, oh, it's called Breadwinner. I'm gonna apply it with my finger, I think. Oh, stop it right now. One thing about Urban Decay, when it comes to shimmers, oh my God, their shimmers are absolutely unreal because this has no business looking this good. Are you joking me? Wow, obsessed. I like to take my shimmers up as well. So the intensity is on the eyelid, but then I just kind of use my finger to move around any leftovers oh my god i haven't used my fingers to apply shimmers in such a long time i forgot how crazy intense they can be wow i'm gonna use the same brush that i used for edible just to really add a little bit of gradients between the shimmer oh this one needs more shimmer towards the end so you can add the gradient oh stop it right now this is so cheeky this is wild. I'm gonna use this to 
help me spread my shimmers. Bang in. Anyway, let me go wash my hands. I'm also gonna apply my lashes while I'm there. And that's pretty much my face done. And then we'll just come back and do lips. Ah! Looks too cool done. Lashes done, mascara done. Of course I use the Perversion mascara. Oh my God, I've got mascara all over my fingers. Good God. I use Perversion mascara and the length on the baby lower lashes is just delicious. I also used it underneath my lashes, of course. And then we're just gonna skip right onto lips. I'm wondering actually, let me go do my hair. Let me go do my hair real quick and then we'll come back and do, let me do my hair then we'll come back and do lips. Oh, before I go though, let's use the brow blade. Do my brows. Oh, okay. I'm just using the end bit. This is the Insta ink, ink stain, not Insta ink. That's pretty nice. Okay, so that's the ink part. Then let's do the pencil on this end. Okay. My brows don't really need too much work. Once I put my brow gel on, they're pretty good. Okay. Oh my God, I like this. It's very easy. The hairs give off like hair-like strokes. They mimic your own natural hairs. I'm gonna go ahead and just use this in here as well. Cute. I like that a lot. And use this to do like little tiny hairs at the front and then fill in any bald spots using the ink well that's a good shout actually using the ink to fill in any bald spots and then using the pencil as well oh that's cute i like that i like that a lot my brows look too good i love that this is in the shade dark dark drapes which is, I assume is just dark brown. Okay, that's cute. I like that. And use a little bit of powder just so it's not as intense at the front. Pretty, okay, let me go and do my hair and then we'll be back in my hair um, while I do the lips. I use my Dyson Air App to do these curls. I really, really love the Air App. It makes me feel like I'm a styling babe for real. It's really, I love it, I can't, I can't lie, I really love it. Um, and this, when it comes out, is gonna look amazing. Anyway, back to the recreation of my makeup. I'm gonna use the Glide, oh my God, it's an eye pencil. Not me thinking this was a lip pencil. I might just use it on my lips anyway. No, I'll use it in my eye. Damn, I thought this was a lip pencil. This is the 24 hour Glide on eye pencil in Whiskey. Look at the difference. Let me zoom you guys in, like a subtle, I like putting something in my eye, like waterline all the time, like a subtle difference. It completes the look always. And I like this brown actually. It's beautiful. Okay, lip is all prepped using my lip liners. Now we've got these two matte lipsticks. We've got 19, 1993, which I remember this, it used to be the Kylie Jenner lip. Everyone was like obsessed with this. You remember that era? I remember this lipstick. They had it in a liquid lip as well. And then we've got, this one is called Hot Char, Hot, Hotchata? Girl, I am butchering that. Oh, I think I prefer this one. Hotchata. Hotchata. Not me sounding like I've got hotcakes in my mouth. Good God. So you know, I'm going to go with 19... 1993 because it's nostalgic. Do you guys remember this? The Kylie Jenner lip. I don't know if people still refer to it as that, but that's definitely what I came up with that as. And then I'm going to use this. What's this one? This one is called... Back talk, back talk, back talk. Oh, this is prettier. This is back talk. I think I prefer back talk. Oh no, let me wipe this off. Okay, back talk is making too much sense. Oh yeah, not the formula being this buttery. Mmm. Then I'm gonna follow over top with secret menu, which is just a gloss. Mmm. Stop it right now. beautiful wow okay and that's pretty much me done for the makeup i'm just gonna go take these pink curls out of my hair and then we'll be back i just feel so 
pretty. Oh my god, I love shoved a little bit of that hair behind after hit you with the zoom. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm hitting you guys with the zoom. This is what it looks like up close. This concealer is literally like rocking my whole world. I'm so obsessed with the concealer. This is what my face looks like. The skin, the skin tin, the eyeshadow, the lips, the blush. The blush is really just do you know what? The blush is really growing on me. I really, really, really love the way the blush looks. Ooh wee. I'm just obsessed, obsessed, obsessed. Stand out to me, of course, the skin tint. Of course, the concealer. This concealer, bomb. I really enjoy the formula of the gloss. Absolutely stunning. But honestly, if you're going to buy anything at all, the concealer is, wow, I'm so impressed. My under eye. Look at my makeup right now. Are you joking? Look at my under eye. It's like butter underneath there, like wow, absolutely sensational. I am obsessed in love. Um, this, in hindsight, the blush, as I've been doing the rest of my face, I've just been staring at my blush and it just looks too good. So in hindsight, I would actually buy this palette just for the blush, the um, Stay Naked threesome for the blush. I really wish they did this blush individually because it is, st 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 stunning. And then of course we've got the Half Baked where have I just put, you know when you put something down and it almost falls into the abyss? Here we go, the half-baked, naked half-baked. If you're trying to achieve this eyeshadow, this is basically all you need. I know how much you guys love the eyeshadow for my birthday, so that is really all you need. And that is pretty much it. Oh, also the lipstick, oh my gosh. This is going straight into my makeup bag. This lipstick, in backtrack, oh. This is the most gorgeous pink ever. I'm just so obsessed with it. It's stunning, 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 stunning. And that is pretty much it. That is the whole look. Wow, I love my face. I really do love the way this look turned out. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I wanted to recreate this look and I really wanted to recreate this birthday look because I got so many questions on it. So big shout out to Urban Decay for sponsoring and partnering with me on this video. You let me know which product you are most interested in, which one looked the best, which one is your vibe. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and I'll see you, not my hair, I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mm -hmm.